Hello Monsters, today we're gonna compare two monsters of late 2000s decade, they were two of the most powerful tractors and they still are until today, if you like our channel subscribe like and share our videos, so here we have the John Deere 8530 which is the largest model of 8030 series, in a comparison with Case 335 of Magnum series, which was the largest Magnum back at 2007, the Deere was released at 2006 for the first time until 2010. Magnum from the other side was about a year newer tractor, it was released at 2007 to 2011. Both are on the same level, so let's see which is bigger, stronger and faster in the fields. Also check the video link at the pinned comment to see which win on the max pull drag. So, here we start, the Deere wears the engine of John Deere, with 9 liters and 6 cylinders, it is one of the most powerful John Deere engines until today. Magnum from the other side wears a slightly smaller engine of CNH with 8,9 liters and 6 cylinders also, the difference is nearly zero. But if you see the video at the pinned comment you will understand why the deer has the advantage here. As about the power, the gross power of the deer is at 347 horses and it can be boosted at 370 horses of max power, Magnum from the other side is slightly less powerful, with gross power at 335 horses and it can be boosted at 368 horsepower, the difference is not so big but the deer comes first here again. The PTO claimed is the same for both tractors at 277 horses with deer max fuel use at 58 liters per hour and case at 64 liters per hour, so the deer here has another advantage as both have the same PTO but the deer is more economical. The PTO tested of deer is at 302 horses with 61 liters fuel use per hour, Magnums from the other side is at 305 horsepower with 64,7 liters fuel use per hour, so case has about two horses more. The difference is nearly zero, with the deer coming again more economical. As about the drawbar performance the deer can touch the 240 horses with 57 liters fuel use per hour and a max pull at 11,177 kilograms, case from the other side is higher drawbar power at 243 horses with 63 liters fuel use per hour and a max pull at 17,247 kilograms, so here case has the advantage as it has more drawbar power with higher max pull but the deer comes again more economical on fuel. The peak torque of the deer starts at 1,451 newton meters and it can touch the 1,740 newton meters at 1,500 revolutions per minute as optional, magnums from the other side is lower at 1,566 newton meters at 1,400 revolutions per minute, so the deer here takes clearly the advantage as the torque is way higher. This is one more reason why the deer won in the video at the description. The max rear hitch capacity of the deer is at 8,301 kg of standard lift and 11,762 kg max optional, Magnum's standard lift from the other side is at 7,420 kg and it can touch the 10,200 kg optional, so the deer here has again the advantage of the weight lifts, both tractors can have front hitch upon order. The top speed of the John Deere is at 40 to 50 km per hour with the John Deere infinitely variable IVT transmission type and a max tank capacity at 681 liters. Magnum's top speed from the other side can touch the 40 km per hour with full power shift power shuttle transmission and a max fuel tank capacity at 682 liters. So the Deere again has the advantage here as it is faster with almost the same fuel capacity. You can check the specs and information sources at the description, so we saw the performance of each beast, let's now compare the size. The deer's operating weight is at 12,100 kg, Magnum is lighter at 9,568 kg, this can be an advantage for case in the field, but the deer can possibly win in a tug of war match, both tractors can go over 14,000 kg with ballasted weight. The wheelbase of the deer is at 2 meters and 95 centimeters, Magnum's is slightly larger at 3 meters. The total length of the deer is at 5 meters and 64 centimeters, Magnum is a little longer at 5 meters and 95 centimeters. The height to the cub of the deer is at 3 meters and 36 centimeters, Magnum is a little shorter at 3 meters and 26 centimeters. So as a conclusion, the 8530 has slightly larger engine, with higher gross and boosted power, higher torque, higher lift capacity and faster on roads with the John Deere infinitely variable IVD transmission, also more economical on fuel heavier and taller on size. Magnum from the other side has higher PTO tested, stronger drawbar, with higher max pull and the full power shift with power shuttle transmission, it is also longer in size. So guys, in this video the largest deer of 2006 takes on largest Magnum of 2007, we would recommend to you the deer, the info specs are down to the description, also check the video at the description and the pinned comment, subscribe us if you like our videos, until next video, see you.